Living out of a tent is not the easiest form of protest. It's moved better out of place. It's not where it's supposed to be. But uh, yeah, so trying to keep that down, I use the same cup over and over again. Andy Delacali is only on his second day camping out for Occupy Syracuse, but he says he plans on staying until he is moved. Andy was a student at FIT. He says school is a great thing, but the 50 years of debt that follow, not so much. I was a fine arts student. And I'm also just an angry American who did not, was not able to afford higher education. Yes, um, and that's nothing terribly unusual in this day. Andy joined Occupy Syracuse group in hopes of banding with other 99% of Americans not living as top dog bank CEOs. Many of them are young. Falling apart, you know, and I, I really don't feel like we have a lot of hope here in Syracuse. Some are old. Uh, there are a small number of people who make immense amounts of money, billions of dollars. Occupy Syracuse is a group with all different stories, political affiliations, and experiences. But Andy says they represent the 99% of Americans looking to change the capitalist system of the United States. We are, are, we are in step one, phase one of this movement, which is awareness. He knows there will be challenges, but he is willing to reuse his MOOP and tent to change the American system for what he thinks is better. Chair, it is an uphill battle, but I really do think, and I mean, look what's happening on Wall Street, look at the growth. Um, I do think that people are starting to get the message. And sure, maybe today we can't beat City Hall. Who knows about tomorrow?